Sosuke Aizen, someone born with abilities far beyond anyone. While his early childhood is somewhat a mystery, his ability to master every Shinigami power started at a very early age. He realized he was different from everyone. As we take a quick recap on Aizen-sama's growing power, we first look at when he started to create Wanderwise with the Hyoyoku that he possesses two times the Ryatsu of a captain. Aizen, a master of every form of Shinigami ability and nothing left to learn, subjugated the Hyoyoku to become its master and transcend into an immortal god. Ishin, in his battle against Aizen, said that he could not even sense his power because it is too far beyond his. Aizen, now on a different plane of existence, evolved Battle Ichigo, and for that one moment he was weakened, it allowed the cunning of Kisuke Urahara's seal to take place. Aizen, swearing at Urahara, why do you serve that thing, is sealed away into the Central 46 Underground Prison. The Hoyoku can't be destroyed and is one with Aizen, so he sits sealed away in Mugen. The immortal god Aizen has nothing but time on his side and waits. Yuha and his invasion of Soul Society paid Aizen a visit. Why? Aizen is feared and can't be killed by Yuha, so he tried to recruit him. Of course it didn't work. However, we got great foreshadowing that Aizen managed to manipulate Yuha's sense of time in their short encounter. Aizen sits and waits, knowing that his time will come, gets later visited by Shunshi. Released at last from Mugen, he, but still confined to his chair, the eyes falling down from the Soul King's palace above get annihilated by Aizen in a massive Kurohitsugi. Uruhara states that Aizen has grown in power in his confinement in prison and is even more powerful than when he fought Ichigo. How is Aizen able to grow in power while sealed away in prison, you ask? Aizen is exactly where he wants to be. During the two years spent in Mugen, he still has been mastering his newfound union with the Hoyoku his powers continuing to grow. We are after all talking about Aizen, who has planned everything he has done and every battle Ichigo has fought. Everything has been going to Aizen's plan. He is still alive because no one has the power to kill him. This is why Yuha has used his holy selection and also absorbed the Soul King. He needed the power of a god to fight a god. Now Yuha returns to Soul Society to test his new powers against the only one to truly stand in his way. Aizen. I know many of you think Yuha is in a class of his own, of course, and has far more power than Aizen, but that just isn't true. If Yuha could have killed Aizen in their first encounter, he would have. Only now does Yuha have the power required to fight on equal ground with Aizen. Make no mistake, the upcoming battle will be one to the likes of which will be fitting to end Bleach. Aizen, the greatest villain, has always stood in the way of Yuha's total victory. Yuha, seeing the future, knows this. However, he isn't the only one that can play with time. Aizen will release his Bankai. Perhaps the most anticipated Bankai release in all of Bleach. Aizen has the ability to alter time. He possesses more than just the complete hypnosis of his Shikai when his Bankai is released. Then coupled with his unlimited Ryatsu that has grown over the last two years in prison, Aizen has sharpened his abilities for this battle. Aizen knew all along that this fight would happen. He knew that an opponent far greater than Ichigo waited for him in Yuha. Aizen, able to manipulate time, saw into the future and the return of the Quincy King. Aizen allowed for his confinement in Mugen to grow his already massive power even further. Aizen wants to stand where he has always belonged, the god and king of Soul Society.